Hello, St. Andrew, and welcome to this next video in a series of instructional and informational videos about our new Family Faith Formation Program. This video is going to be how to participate in church sessions online. So for those of you during this time of pandemic don't feel comfortable or it's not safe based on health conditions, um, participating in our church sessions in person in the church, then this video is for you in which I want to show you exactly where to go, what to click, and how to access all the all the websites and resources you need to participate with us online through our virtual church sessions. So let's begin over here on an empty Google page and just type in St. Andrew Cape Coral. You can see uh, Google helpfully is already uh, bringing up the map and addresses. You can just click website there or you can scroll down to make sure and there is our homepage standrewrcc.org is our homepage. Uh, this is what the, the website where you'll be doing everything with our Family Faith Formation Program. Specifically, you're going to be going to this menu right here, F3 Online. Family Faith Formation F3 Online is where you'll do everything online, both your home sessions and church virtual sessions. That's what I'm calling them. Your church virtual sessions are divided according to which day you chose to participate, either Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So let's pretend we're a Tuesday family and click on Virtual Tuesdays. Now you can see here that if it is on the date of a church session, and you would like to watch our live stream live, join us live on Facebook, there is your link right here. To watch live, visit this. So if we click on this, it opens a new tab, which is our Facebook page for St. Andrews. Now, of course, Facebook wants you to log in, and if you have a login, you're welcome to do that, and then you can comment on the, the video as, uh, as we go, but you don't have to log in. You don't have to have a Facebook account. You'll notice it gets a little pushy, like, I want you to have a Facebook account, but I'm going to click Not Now because you don't need it. Now, if we scroll down to, you can see here, this was... Um, these are some other live videos that were recently posted. This was Father Anand and Deacon Eddie celebrating Mass on Sunday at the 1030 Mass. So when someone is live on a Facebook page, that live video should show up right at the top, right at the beginning of this posts section. So if you scroll down, it'll say St. Andrew Catholic Church is live, and you can click the play button to start the video. In the meantime, though, which were taken by King Nebuchadnezzar from the God's holy so Jerusalem. This temple. is Father Anand's homily. That's, the from this past. That's Father Anand's homily from this past Sunday. Similarly, you can then watch the video uh, on the Facebook page. If you click this button, it will get bigger or even go full screen if you're watching with us live. So that is where you can watch the live screen on our Facebook page. But if we click back over here, you'll notice that there are other th after the fact. So on Wednesday, October 7th, I embedded the Tuesday, October 6th video of the live stream here. So if you cannot join us live, or if let's say you're even an in-person church family and you might, uh, you know, somebody was sick or you couldn't make it, you can come back and watch the video here after the fact. So let's say you missed Tuesday, October 6th. You can just come right here to the page and watch it here. So on Facebook. Okay. All right. All right, let's begin. Let's begin. We are small in number, but mighty in spirit. <laughs> so, so that's me watching me, you watching me, watching me. 
It's very weird. But anyway, that then is the video where you can watch the video. Now, under the video are the handouts. The handouts are the resources that we print and put in the pews for all of the folks that attend in person. There are two main handouts that, uh, that are available here on the website and that will be labeled the same every church session because every church session will involve a monthly prayer practice handout. So if you click on that, it'll open another new tab. And you can see that our prayer practice for the month of October is how to pray the rosary. And here is the handout that we give to our folks in the pews and offer to you digitally through the website. So you can either have this up here on the website or you could print it out if you have a printer at home. Or you can also go ahead and save the document as a PDF on your computer, and then you could open it up in a PDF viewer to have next to the video that is running live. But there is your prayer video, a prayer handout, and here is your gospel teaching topic handout. Also, also two pages, one side in English, one side in Spanish, a uh, PDF that you can print or download, or just have in a separate tab or window for easy reference. So those handouts are offered to you. Now for the first few weeks, I'm also offering these required Diocese of Venice forms because the Diocese of Venice does ask us every year to ask everyone to complete these three forms. That looks like this. These you can print and then fill out and then take a picture of or scan and send or just do a drive-by drop-off at our office, all right? But every church session will have a monthly prayer practice handout and a gospel teaching topic handout. Now also, during the video of the church session, there will be a time in which I invite all families to do what I call the turn-in take-home. The turn-in take-home for in-person families, there will be two copies in the pew for them, one to fill out and to turn in and leave in the pew for me, the other to take home, uh, that they can fill out and take home. For you guys who are already at home watching virtually, I have created digital versions of the turn-in take home uh, for you to complete. So during the church session, I will always give families like a good 7, 10, 15 minutes to work on their turn in in the pew as a family. When I invite them to do that during the live stream, then you are invited to come back here to this web page and to click on the virtual turn in. So you can see here the turn in take home F3, this one's in English, this one's in Spanish. So if I click on the one in English, it will open a Google form. You'll notice Tuesday, October 6th, church session virtual turn-in. So I want you to list all of the names of the people involved, and then here are all of the elements of the handout that were on the paper version in person. These you can fill out here. So we can fill this in. John Doe is here, and Jane Doe is here, and little Jimmy Doe and little Jamie Doe are here. And then, so what was your fall family faith goal? Um, our goal was to grow in faith through reading the Bible reading the Bible more. Then you scroll down and there is a note about prudence. Now when, in order to accomplish anything, we have to set aside the time for it, use the space below to schedule times and places to work on your family goal. So here, as a family, you could decide together, all right, when are we going to read the Bible more? Well, we're going to do it uh, every Sunday after church, which will be... Let's say you attend the 9 a.m. Mass, you get out of church at 10, you get home by 10.30. So we'll say 10.30 to 11 a.m. Every church, every Sunday after church, 10.30 to 11 a.m. And then, having set aside the time, got concrete about the actions. 
we will read the Bible. And what are the obstacles? What might get in the way? Going out to brunch might get in the way. And what are you going to do about that? We won't do that. <laughs> now, hopefully yours are a lot more realistic and concrete and specific, etc. But I'm just giving you examples here. The most important button in any virtual turn-in, whether it be here for the church sessions or if it be in your home sessions, which there'll be another video about that, is the submit button. You got to click the submit button. Once you click the submit button, then it says your response has been recorded. That is the magical phrase. Your response has been recorded. That's the phrase you want. That's how you get credit for being at the virtual church session. Even if you watch the video live on Facebook and comment and interact, which I love, please keep doing that. Uh, even if you do that, you must come and do the turn in and submit your response. That is how you can fully participate in these church sessions. That is how you can uh, grow in faith as a family together using these church sessions. And that is how you get credit for being present at those church sessions. And as you can see, as we scroll down, it just goes backwards in the calendar. So this was our very first church session. I know that many of you haven't done the virtual turn-in. Click one of these buttons to open them up to fill out the handout, uh, to fill out the virtual turn-in so that uh, you can get credit. So I'm encouraging everyone, you can, they remain there. I'm not pulling them down. You can go on these anytime to, uh, to complete your virtual church sessions. I hope this video has been helpful in uh, as an introduction to church sessions, online participation. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to contact us by either calling the Faith Formation Office or by emailing either myself or Miss Ann. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching.